Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and another special ranking video. On this list, we will be ranking war films ranging from World War I, which began in 1914, all the way up to the Vietnam War, which ended in 1975. Now keep in mind that these films do not have to be historically accurate films. That is not why we are ranking them on this list. We are ranking them because of how entertaining and how well made the film is. So with that being said, Let's get on with the list. Coming in at number 10 is Sergeant York from 1941, an American biographical film about the life of Alvin C. York, one of the most decorated American soldiers of World War I. This film was directed by Howard Hawks and starred Gary Cooper in the title role. Cooper went on to win an Academy Award for Best Actor for his performance, while the film also won for Best Film Editing. But it was also nominated for nine other categories including Best Picture, Best Director, Best Supporting Actor, Walter Brennan, and Best Supporting Actress, Margaret Witcherly. This film may be the oldest on this list, but it doesn't take away from the fact that, even though the directing style of the 40s may be looked upon as corny and campy with today's eyes, there's no ignoring what a great performance that Gary Cooper gave in the title role. It's the reason why it makes this list. And coming in at number 9 is Apocalypse Now from 1979, an American epic war film produced and directed by Francis Ford Coppola. Although many may consider this war film to be one of the best of all time, we've never been able to see this one as more than just an entertaining war film with the odd story with Martin Sheen's character of Captain Willard on a secret mission to assassinate Colonel Kurtz played highly over the top by Marlon Brando. The film always seemed a bit overrated, but it does feature a great ensemble cast including Robert Duvall, Frederick Forrest, Sam Bottoms, Lawrence Fishburne, Dennis Hopper, and even Harrison Ford. Coming in at number 8 is The Longest Day from 1962, an American epic war film based on Cornelius Ryan's 1959 non-fiction book of the same name about the D-Day landings in Normandy on June 6th 1944. The film was produced by Daryl F. Zanuck for 20th Century Fox and contained a huge cast of actors from all around the world. For the time, the battle sequences showing the Normandy invasion were highly effective and very well done. Although most characters in this are fictional, the action feels realistic due to the fact that the filmmakers employed several actual Allied and Axis D-Day participants as consultants. Hence the reason why this classic film makes our list. And coming in at number 7 is Battle of the Bulge from 1965, an American widescreen epic war film produced in Spain, directed by Ken Anakin, and starring Henry Fonda, Robert Shaw, Telly Savalas, Robert Ryan, Dana Andrews, and Charles Bronson. Although a highly fictionalized account of the battle, the performance of Robert Shaw as Colonel Martin Hessler is one of the best in his career, and he brings this film up just by his performance alone. So with the help of these other talented actors, this film makes our top 10 easily. And coming in at number 6 is The Great Escape from 1963, an American epic war suspense adventure film starring Steve McQueen, James Garner, and Richard Attenborough. Based on Paul Brickle's 1950s nonfiction book of the same name, the film depicts a heavily fictionalized version of the mass escape by British Commonwealth prisoners of war from the German POW camp Stalag Luft III during the Second World War. And even though Steve McQueen is the top name on this cast, James Garner steals the show from him, as does Richard Attenborough. Other standouts in this film are Charles Bronson and Donald Pleasance, as well as James Coburn. The film also had a very well-done musical score, composed by Elmer Bernstein. Coming in at number 5 is We Were Soldiers from 2002, an American war film written and directed by Randall Wallace and starring Mel Gibson based on the book We Were Soldiers Once and Young from 1992 by retired Lieutenant General Hal Moore and reporter Joseph L. Galloway. It dramatizes the Battle of La Drang from November 14, 1965. And although not fully historically accurate, it has a great supporting cast behind Gibson, including Madeline Stowe, Greg Kinnear, Sam Elliott, Chris Klein, Carrie Russell, and Barry Pepper. 
And coming in at number four, we have Saving Private Ryan from 1998, an American epic war film directed by Steven Spielberg and written by Robert Rodat. This is another fictional telling of the invasion of Normandy in France during World War II, and stars Tom Hanks and Tom Sizemore in excellent performances, as well as a smaller but quite memorable role by Matt Damon. But what places this film higher than the other Normandy adaptation, The Longest Day, is the historical realism of how violent and how frightening that attack in Normandy was. And because of that, this film makes this list at this high of a point. And coming in at our number three position is The Big Red One, a 1980 American epic war film written and directed by Samuel Fuller and starring Lee Marvin alongside an ensemble supporting cast including Mark Hamill, Robert Carradine, Bobby DeChico, and Kelly Ward. It was produced independently on a low budget and was shot on location in Israel, but the performance of Marvin as the tough sergeant who has been in not only World War I but now World War II and fights hard to keep his young privates alive in this violent war. His excellent performance alone is the reason this film makes this list at this high of a point. And coming in at our number two position is Paths of Glory, a 1957 American anti-war film co-written and directed by Stanley Kubrick based on the novel of the same name by Humphrey Cobb, set during World War I. The film stars Kirk Douglas as Colonel Dax, the commanding officer of French soldiers who refuse to continue a suicidal attack, after which Dax attempts to defend them against the charges of cowardice in a court-martial. Stanley Kubrick did many war films during his career, but none of them were as culturally or historically significant as this film is. This is without a shadow of a doubt, in our opinion, one of Kubrick's best films he ever made. It's the reason why it makes this list at our number two. And coming in at our number one position is Patton, a 1970 American epic biographical war film about U.S. General George S. Patton during World War II. It stars George C. Scott as Patton and Carl Malden as General Omar Bradley and was directed by Franklin J. Schaffner from a script by Francis Ford Coppola and Edmund H. North based on the novel Patton, Ordeal and Triumph by Letzlis Farrago and Bradley's memoir, A Soldier's Story. Patton won seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Original Screenplay. But the award that it won that was the most significant was George C. Scott as Best Actor, although he declined the award. The opening monologue delivered by Scott as General Patton with an enormous flag behind him remains an iconic and often quoted moment from this film. And it's a moment that Scott himself argued with Schaffner about its placement in the film, as he wanted it to be later in the film where it was supposed to have taken place. But Schaffner stuck to his initial ideals, and it was placed at the beginning of the film, setting up what was, in our opinion, one of the greatest war films of all time. And that is the reason why Patton makes our list at number one. So, what did you think of our list? Did you agree with our picks? Did you disagree? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and smash that bell icon to be notified about future videos just like this one. And while you are by the subscribe button, why not click that join button and become a Dark Knight fan? Well, that's the end of another ranking video. If you missed our previous week's video, click the link above. And if you missed any of our other ranking videos, click on this playlist and get caught up on any that you might have missed.